Kaibigan, mga kapatiran, welcome sa ating God's Word for Today devotional. And let's move to chapter 6 now, sa Nehemiah. And basahin ko sa verse 1 to 4 for our verses this morning. Let's ask uh, that today's passage will bless us and will guide us and that we will become the persons God wants us to be. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 1 to 4. Nang maibalita kina Sanbalat, Tobias at Jesim na taga-Arabia at sa iba pa naming mga kaaway na naitayo ko na ang pader at wala na silang naiiwan doon bagaman hanggang sa panang yun ay hindi ko pa nailagay ang mga pinto sa mga pintuang bayan. Sina Sanbalat at Jesim ay nagsugo sa akin na nagpapasabi, Pumarito ka, magkita tayo sa isa sa mga nayon sa kapatagan ng uno. Ngunit nagbabalak silang gawan ako ng masama at ako'y nagpadala ng mga sugo sa kanila na nagsasabi. Ako'y gumagawa ng isang dakilang gawain at hindi ako makakababa. Bakit kailangan itigil ang gawain habang wala ako upang makababa lamang sa inyo? At sila'y nagsugo sa akin ng apat na ulit sa ganitong paraan at sinagot ko sila sa ganding paraan. Let's learn here the commitment of Nehemiah to really be focused on yung ginagawa by saying, I'm doing a great work and I cannot come down. We know that here in this chapter, the rebuilding of the wall was almost complete, except that may mga pintuan na hindi pa natapos. Pero si Sanbalat at ang kanyang mga kasamahan, they were relentless. They really wanted to 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 attack and to discourage Nehemiah and the people. When they could not intimidate Nehemiah at sa mga tao, binago nila ang kanilang strategy. What they did was that they sent Nehemiah a message through a messenger at ipinasabi sa kanya, Come and let us meet together at Hakiferim in the plain of Ono and negotiation, so to speak. However, Nehemiah knew that these men could not be trusted. On the guise of peaceful negotiation, malinaw na ang kanilang intention was to harm Nehemiah. Nehemiah would not be fooled because of their desire to negotiate. Thus, Nehemiah replied, I am doing a great work and I cannot come down. Why should the work stop while I live and come down to you? Sa sinasabi ni Nimaya, mayroong dalawang principles na ating matutunan. Una, he knew the value of his time. Para sa kanya, it was a waste of time to come down and negotiate with the enemy and then masasakripisyo yung gawain hindi niya inaallow na mas sidetrack siya sa kanyang ginagawa. Sa kanyang ginagawa na ito po ay kalooban ng Panginoon, ay napaka mahalaga yung mga panahon niya. We know that he was a cupbearer who just requested a certain time na tapusin niya ang gawain ng Panginoon by rebuilding the wall. In the same manner, Sa ating mga ginagawa din in our ministries, sa churches natin, sa ating mga personal na mga commitment to do the will of God, ang ating kaway na si Satanas, gusto niya na we are going to live it in order to do some urgent things. May mga maganda, if not better things na gusto niya nating gawain. No matter how good or better they are, they are poor substitute in fulfilling the will of God. Alam natin, 
maski ano ka importante pa o ano man ka maganda tingnan sa harap ng tao, ano ka maganda sa paningin ng tao. If that is not the will of God, that is a poor substitute sa kalooban ng Panginoon. So ang tanong natin is that, are we uh, focused talaga na hindi tayo masidetrack by some good things, some better things in life? The tyranny of the urgent is a ploy of pain. Sometimes may ginagawa tayo na maganda. Like for example, you're reading your Bible, you're praying, you're doing the things of God. And then may mga notifications sa Facebook, o sa WhatsApp, or sa mga social media. And then nalimutan mo na na you're reading the Bible and you're praying and you have wasted a precious time with God. Let's not allow that the enemy will be successful in luring us to do the urgent things of life. So mga urgent mga bagay many times are not really important. Pangalawa ay, he did not allow to sacrifice his priority. Ang kanyang ginagawa was a good or noble work. I am doing a good work, good work he said. At ang kanyang sinasabi na, I cannot come down. Ito po ay nag-imply that he value the work na masabi natin, these are higher work. These are work that have, these are, there's are works that have eternal values or heavenly values as opos, opposed to base and trivial work. May mga bagay na gawain sa mundo, may mga gawain na parang para sa Diyos. We should know our priority. Like Nehemiah, let's not trade in doing the will of God with something of lesser value. Katulad ni Moises, we know in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 24 na si Moises has the choice na manatili sa Egypt in order to enjoy the treasures and the riches in Egypt and the pleasures in Egypt. Pero pinili niya talaga to suffer and sacrifice with the people of God to be sa panig ng Panginoon because he knew that the riches and the pleasures in Egypt were temporal. But the things of God are eternal. So, let us heed the sa counsel and admonition ni Paul sa Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 Seek, set your affection on things above and not on things on earth look not unto the things that are seen but unto the things that are unseen because ang mabagay na nakikita ay temporaryo lamang but ang hindi natin nakikita yun ang eternal so let us not come down. Let us not stoop down to do base and trivial things. Let us focus on doing the will of God, the higher things, things that have eternal value. So let's search our hearts today. Katulad ba tayo ni Nehemiah? Can we really say with Nehemiah, I am doing a great work. I cannot come down. Manalangin tayo. Thank you, Lord, for today. It's a joy or it's a delight for us that we can have, we have the Word of God to read every day and that you are going to guide us, Lord. Na matutunan namin ang mga prinsipyo na ma, maging kalugod-lugod kami sa inyong harapan, Panginoon. Even we can learn from the life of Jesus that he was not sidetracked by the applause of men, by what men desire for him to become a king because he was so determined to die at the cross. He cannot sacrifice his priority. In this manner, Lord, yun ang aming dalangin na hindi sana namin masakripisyo ang aming prioridadin to do the will of God and not to bargain it with something lesser. Salamat Panginoon sa umaga nito for your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Music